Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. It's Travis here with JT Wealth. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what one analyst thinks Bitcoin could be worth in the next 10 years. Also, we're going to touch a little bit on Dogecoin continuing its progress by utilizing another company that has recently jumped into the crypto foray. So let's get into it. All right, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to watch these videos. Now, if you don't mind, take two seconds, hit that big thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All right, so again, really quickly, like I mentioned in the intro, we're gonna talk about what a specific CEO seems to think the price target of Bitcoin could be in the future, potentially 10 years from now. We're also gonna look at how Dogecoin is starting to approach AMC after they saw AMC jump in the crypto bandwagon by saying they're gonna start allowing for Bitcoin to be used at theaters across the nation. And just really quick before we get into today's video, I want to remind everybody this video today is being sponsored by Crypto.com. And Crypto.com is the world's fastest growing crypto app. And if you use my link that you'll find in the description section down below shown on your screen right now, that's Crypto.com backslash APP backslash JT Wealth. When you sign up for your account, you'll get $25 free in your CRO account. All right, now we got a lot to cover, so let's get right into that one CEO's idea of where Bitcoin's price could be in potentially the next 10 years. And this came from a Benzinga article and it says, what will one Bitcoin be worth in 10 years? Now, if you've heard anything about Bitcoin, it's likely been about its price skyrocketing or plummeting. But for those who are looking to invest long term, there's a different question that should be asked. And that's, what will one Bitcoin be worth in 10 years? It goes on to say, where is Bitcoin going? Well, for Bitcoin, no prediction is guaranteed, but an interesting vision shared by MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor is that once Bitcoin passes the market cap of gold, which is around $11 trillion currently, nothing will stop it. He goes on to say that Bitcoin is capable of reaching a market cap of $300 trillion in the long run. Of course, he doesn't give a date, but nobody can do that. He just talks about that as a future goal. Now, if for whatever reason, Bitcoin is capable of reaching a $300 trillion market cap based on how much Bitcoin there is, which is finite, okay? You can only get so much Bitcoin ever. Each Bitcoin would be worth $14 million. Now, if you told me Bitcoin was going to hit $100,000, I'd be stoked out of my mind. $500,000, a million, I'm buying more Bitcoin. <laughs> but $14 million, that's obviously a really far out there price target. But he seems to think that is possible. And who knows what is going to happen with the original cryptocurrency. I can't wait to find out. Now, speaking of that finite number of Bitcoin, there is only 21 million to be exact. So that supply and demand is going to lead to scarcity and a high value over time. Think of it as spending $4 per gallon at the gas pump today due to inflation versus 36 cents in 1970. Okay, Bitcoin also goes through its halving process every four years, meaning the amount of Bitcoin rewarded through mining the currency will be cut in half. So that effectively cuts Bitcoin's inflation rate in half every four years in a controlled manner that is easily tracked by anyone around the world. Now compare that to the mysteries of the central bank and their target interest rates, and it becomes clear why Bitcoin is referred to as an inflationary hedge. It is deflationary by design. The thing I like about Bitcoin is it has the potential to reach astronomical price targets and make everybody involved a whole lot of money. Stuff like that is usually reserved for the ultra rich, the ultra wealthy, or just anybody in Congress, right? But anybody can buy Bitcoin. Anybody at all can go online. Okay, but now let's sidestep back over to Dogecoin, okay? Their investors look to get on the radar of the AMC chief 
And they're doing that because he is getting involved in cryptocurrency in a big way. So Dogecoin is currently the seventh biggest cryptocurrency with a market cap of approximately $36 billion. Now the leading coins often jockey for position with the exception of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And Doge has been climbing up the ranks once again. August has been good to Dogecoin so far with the price having risen from 20 cents to 27 cents in less than two weeks. And speaking of Bitcoin and Dogecoin, it's a good time to remind everybody this video is in fact sponsored by Crypto.com, the absolute perfect place for you to go out and purchase your Bitcoin and Dogecoin today. Like I mentioned earlier on, they're the world's fastest growing crypto app. They have over 10 million users to buy and sell over 90 cryptocurrencies on the website or the app at true cost, okay? You can also get the crypto.com Visa card and get up to 8% cash back. Just go out there and grow your portfolio by getting the most interest on your crypto assets. You can deposit crypto and check it out. You can earn up to eight and a half percent on your cryptos or up to 14% on your stable coins just by having them in the crypto.com wallet. Okay, so this is a fantastic way to earn money without actually doing anything. It's completely passive. Speaking of the crypto.com visa cards, guys, you have five different options here and they're all kind of based on how much money you would want to stake in your account. Now, do you have to stake the account? No, you don't. But by doing so, you get access to a lot of really fantastic benefits like you can see here. So say you've got no money in there, the midnight blue card might be good for you. You're still going to get 1% rewards on every purchase you make with that card. If you up it to $400 staked in your Ruby Steel card or just in your account, now you can use that card and get twice the cash back, 2%. Say you've got $4,000, you've got the choice between the Indigo and the Jade Green. Now you're getting 3% cash back. And obviously you can see as the money goes up in your stake holdings, so too does the amount you get in your rewards or your cash back just by using it all the way up to 8% back in the Obsidian Black card. I did a quick search on Google, guys, for your average Visa card, your average credit card out there, 1% is considered really good for cash back. So the crypto.com Visa cards are fantastic for getting cash back that's just funneled right back into your CRO account for you to then use to buy more Bitcoin or make more money on the crypto or the CRO that you just let sit there and earn you 14%. All right, so back to Doge that I know everybody's going to go buy now on their crypto.com app. <laughs> but you can check this out, guys. The fans are cheering AMC for being a progressive company on crypto, and they're asking the CEO to think even bigger. So on Twitter, users are urging Aaron to consider Dogecoin as a payment method, too. If you don't know, Aaron is the CEO of AMC. Okay, but Dogecoin is said to complete approximately 33 transactions a second versus Bitcoin seven. Okay, but the Doge community is playing to AMC's meme stock status, considering that in the cryptocurrency industry, Doge similarly fits the bill as a meme coin. And here's one of those tweets right now. Great first step at CEO Adam. You are miles ahead of most companies when it comes to crypto. I encourage you to consider accepting Dogecoin. Doge is more likely to be spent than Bitcoin. It's faster and cheaper to transact with. Also, Doge fits the ethos of AMC as a meme asset. I think they're spot on with this as far as the younger community goes, the Reddit guys, the Wall Street bets, AMC and Dogecoin kind of go hand in hand. We're not looking for a short squeeze on Dogecoin, but the community as a whole is looking towards meme coins, meme stocks, and they're all sharing ideas and platforms. So I can certainly see them pushing AMC to utilize a crypto that they like and trust. Doge is still gaining popularity as market data firm Chain Analysis says that Dogecoin boasts the fourth largest 30-day trading volume of all cryptocurrencies with over 199 billion US dollars worth of transfers. But now let's check back up on how Bitcoin is progressing and where Bitcoin's price is at today. 
Well, Bitcoin is up 50% over the last three weeks, having broken a long-term moving average on the back of strong institutional and retail demand. Still, the crypto is showing signs of buyer exhaustion, as has been seen by the relative strength index. Now, markets need to digest some overbought levels before attempting that 50 to $55,000 resistance. Basically, guys, this is kind of the warning, okay? Stuff doesn't always go up, right? So with the sailor surge and the Elon effect exhausted, Bitcoin likely falters at the $50,000 mark before crashing to what they say would be sub $30,000 levels. I'd actually be shocked to see that again. That we, we were kind of there not too long ago. But clearing the space for a new year end institutional catalyst to lift past all-time highs. Now, let's see where the all-time high actually is. So here's where Bitcoin was trading earlier today, just under $44,500. But if you look at the bottom left-hand part of your screen here, you can see that the all-time high for Bitcoin was $64,829.14. So if the analysts are correct, and we do see a bit of a pullback before they reach that fifty dollars to $55,000 mark, whatever it goes down to, say it's $30,000 like they mentioned, you're looking at the next institutional possible catalyst to kick it up above the previous all-time high. So no matter where it ends up, you're looking at a, po a possibility of breaking 65,000 by year's end. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video on Bitcoin and Dogecoin. Hoping for that over $65,000 Bitcoin by the end of this year. Even more, I'm really excited about the potential for Bitcoin to be a $300 trillion market cap company and whatever that ends up creating for a single Bitcoin, I'm on board with. 14 million does seem a bit astronomical. It's very difficult to wrap my head around that, but who knows what can happen in the long haul. I wouldn't mind having a Bitcoin worth $14 million. But as always, guys, thanks so much for checking out today's video. It is always provided for information and entertainment purposes only, not to be provided as a recommendation for you to buy or sell any stock or cryptocurrency. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of today's video. Where are you at with Bitcoin and Dogecoin? Do you hold any? Do you plan on buying in? What are your thoughts? Okay, I know Dogecoin, I'm shooting for a dollar per Doge here in the future, maybe by the end of the year, maybe next year, who knows. But one way or another, I'm invested in both Bitcoin and Dogecoin, and I'm excited for the future. Until next time, guys, bottoms up.